Warning, this video contains some actions that may not be safe. Please be cautious and we claim no responsibility for any injuries obtained from building this device. Hey guys, in this video we're going to show you how to make this super cool connector here which will allow you to charge three single cell lithium polymer batteries as a single three cell lithium polymer battery. This is extremely handy because these cheapo Chinese lithium polymer chargers for single cell batteries are really really bad. They usually just stop charging your battery about halfway through and are extremely flaky. So don't use these, these are bad. Instead, use this thing on a balance charger. This will ensure that all your batteries are charged to 100% and that you don't have any half charged batteries when you go to fly your micro quads. So, let's get started. Okay, first let's gather our parts. You're going to need some wire strippers. A soldering iron. solder, electrical tape, a power supply, a lithium polymer balance charger that you will use your power supply to power, a cable where it takes bullet connectors from your lithium polymer balance charger and turns that into a JST connector. Three 1S lithium polymer batteries. A 3S lithium polymer balance plug. Three female low C connectors. Fat heat shrink tubing. And a male JST connector. Okay, now you're going to want to strip your wires. For this, you're going to need all three of your low C connectors, your male JST connector, and your lithium polymer balance plug. You're also going to need your wire strippers. If your wire strippers happen to have a cutter here, you're going to want to take the end of all your cables here and just trim off that last millimeter or so because they dip the ends in solder here and when you strip it it tends to rip the wire with it so it's good just to trim off the ends. Now you can strip off about a quarter to a half inch off of each of the wires on all of your connectors. just like that. Now you want to clean up all these wire scraps off your workspace and we can move on to the next step. Okay, for this next step we're going to be wiring everything up. For this you're going to need all of your connectors again. First what we're going to do is take all three of our low C connectors here and wire them in series. So that means that red goes to black and black goes to red. When you're done, it should look something like this. Now that you're done with that, you can take your balance connector here, and the gray one is ground and the white one is positive. So what you're gonna do is on the ground one on the end of your low C chain here, you're gonna twist that one to the gray one. Just like that. And the white one you're gonna twist to the red one of your low C chain. And then the two wires in the middle of your balance plug here will twist to the two wires of your center low C here. Just like that. It's okay if this looks like a knot right now. This will be cleaned up later. Now you're gonna take your male JST connector and the red wire is going to twist to a wire where the end of your low C chain meets your 3S balance connector. And that red wire is going to twist to that. And the black wire is going to twist to the connector where your ground of your 3S balance 
connector connects to your low C chain. Okay, so how this works is you have your male JST connector here, and that is connected to your low C chain here. Because these are wired in series, that will add their voltages together, so that will allow you to get your 12-ish volts out through here, so that will make it function like a 3S. This balance connector here is connected to each of the connection points of your low C chain, and that will allow it to charge and balance each of your low C cells. So let's solder this up. Okay guys, for this next step, you're going to want to solder up all your connectors here. For this, you're going to need your soldering iron, your mess of wire here, and some solder. So what you're going to do is heat up the wire, and on the other side, tap the solder onto it. This will ensure that the wire is hot and that the solder completely fuses to the wire. And then you're going to run that up the wire. Don't add too much solder because otherwise it'll get fat and ugly. And then you're going to do this for all your connections. Okay, now that you're done soldering all your connections here, you can wrap them in electrical tape. For this, you're only going to need about three quarters of an inch of electrical tape for each of your connections, and you're going to want to tightly wrap that. There we go, just like that. Now that you have all your connections wrapped in electrical tape, it's time to slide over your heat shrink tubing here. For this, what you're going to want to do is take your 3S balance connector here, and your male JST connector here and separate them from the rest just like that and then you'll see it kind of like goes apart in two directions and you're going to slide your heat shrink tubing over all three of your low C connectors and then bend down all of your electrical taped connections here like that and slide it over Just like that. Now you can see we have the male JST and we have the 3S balance connector and we have all three of our low C's on this side and now we're going to heat gun this so we can get our heat shrink tubing to shrink and really seal it in there. And there you go, now you're done with this connector assembly here. It's time to go test this. Okay, now it's time to test out your cable. If this is the first time using your cable, make sure to do it on a cement or stone surface because if you happen to have it wired wrong, your lithium polymer batteries could swell and pop and they'll be very bad if it happened over wood. So what you want to do first is take all three of your lithium polymer batteries and plug them into each of the low C connectors here. When doing this, make sure that they don't swell or get hot or any of the wires get hot because that means there's probably a short circuit. There we go, just like that. Now you can take your 3S balance connector here and plug that into your balance charger. Then you can take the JST connector from your balance charger and plug that into the JST connector coming out of your wiring here. And plug that in. And set your charger to lithium polymer balance because unless you're running all these batteries together, they'll most likely be at different voltages and it's best to balance them. So you want to set that at 0.3 amps because these are 300 milliamp hour lithium polymer batteries. So you will want to be moving the decimal place over twice. So that will reduce to 0.3 amps and then make sure it's set at 11.1 .1 volts, 3S. Now you're going to want to press enter. And there you go. You can see that it senses three cells. Press enter one more time. And you can see that it is charging. So there you go, guys. Thank you guys for watching this video. Make sure to give us a like, subscribe, and see you next time.